So today we are going to make chicken butternut squash soup. So let's start. Let's start to make this um, squash soup. So I'm preheating my oil here because we're going to saute the garlic and onion. But first and foremost, what I've done here is I combine, which is um, I have the butternut squash and the sweet potato. Yes, this too complements its other flavors so much. So what I've done here is I peel the butternut squash and remove the seeds and then I cut them into pieces. And same way with the sweet potato. I peel the sweet potato and cut them into pieces. Okay guys, it's really simple. I just drizzled some oil, seasoned them with salt and pepper, and then bake them for 20 minutes at 425 degrees. Then blend everything in the blender until they're smooth. And there you go, that's your puree. This is the butternut squash puree. Let me add the onions first. I'm going to add, Ooh, you see that? The pan is pretty hot. I have it ready uh, for a while in here. I'm just kind of sauteing the onion and then to this I'm going to add the garlic, okay? Okay, and just kind of combine everything and let the onion tender a little bit, okay? And to this, we're gonna season it with salt and pepper. It's best to season it at the beginning of your cooking because it really gets that flavor. So just season it a little bit of salt right there. And then I use red chili pepper flakes, but you can certainly use just ground black pepper, all right? So red chili pepper flakes, just give it a little kick, you know, a little heat. And then I'm gonna stir this again. Okay, and to this, I'm going to add our seasoning. So what I have here is smoked paprika. Smoked paprika really gives that, really make the soup hearty, really, really give, gives that hearty flavor to the soup. So it, it's very warming. So that's why I like the smoked paprika. And it's the smoky flavor, obviously. And then cumin. If you like curry powder, powder or curry flavor, then you can add a little bit of curry uh, powder. If you're adding cumin, then just maybe add half a teaspoon of um, curry powder, okay? But I'm just adding this, uh, the, the cumin and the smoked paprika because they go really well together. And then with our um, garlic and onions here, so I'm getting that really nice red color now from the smoked paprika. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add our chicken. So this is a rotisserie chicken. This is about maybe a cup and a half that I shredded rotisserie chicken and I'm gonna add it, okay? So we want a lot of, I want a lot of chicken. I like the um, I like the rotisserie chicken because it's already seasoned and you get that really nice flavor. So what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna combine and let that um, chicken heat up. Okay. So now this is very simple. You just add your it's about two cups. Maybe when you blend your squash soup, you'll have more than two cups. So just save the rest for later. You can use it to make a vegetarian soup or uh, whatever you want that requires the squash uh, puree. And so I only use about two cups of the puree right here, okay? Okay, so we want to make sure we get every bit of that butternut squash puree. Like I said, I combine the butternut squash and sweet potato, roast them, and then puree them in my blender with coconut milk. So we're going to add about three to four cups of chicken broth, okay? And then just kind of mix it. And then at the end, <clears throat> we're gonna add the Parmesan cheese, okay? So I'm gonna add more chicken broth here, about three to four cups, okay? If you think that it's so thick, then add more. And if you think that, um, 
that you don't want it too soupy, you don't want it too thin, the consistency, then add a less of the chicken broth, okay? So I think this is the right consistency for me. And always, always taste. So then you can adjust the seasonings, okay? So if it needs more salt, more pepper, or maybe need some of your dried herbs, you know, so just kind of, all right. So I'm just finishing it up with like this, um, the puree, the chicken, okay. And then I'm going to add the Parmesan cheese. Now I want to reserve a little bit so that at the end when I plate them, when I put them in the bowl, when I put it in the bowl, then I'll sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top with the parsley. You're heating everything up. And for the meantime, let me get a bowl so we can get that really, we can, we end this with tasting. So, Go. Oops, my apples are falling. We went apple picking the other day, so it was it was so much fun. Okay, so a little bit of that Parmesan cheese, a little bit of that um, parsley, my parsley from my herb garden and maybe a pinch of some more of that red chili pepper flakes oh this is so yummy so good okay i want to show you before i dig into it so then you can really see um oops i, I always miss this see that it's so creamy so full of flavor it's very nice and it's like fall weather okay so there you go tasting time oh oh my goodness the creaminess from the coconut because I love coconut so that's why I added coconut instead of heavy cream so the coconut a little bit of Parmesan and that cumin and the smoked paprika oh, goes so well together. Mm. It's so lovely. Okay guys, that's your chicken butternut squash soup. For more recipes, please visit us at leanballaskitchen.com. And for this one, just click the link below. Thank you and bye for now.